Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Viking Under Counter Refrigeration Ice Training. This is your moderator, Margaret McSweeney. I'm so glad you're joining us today. Before we begin the presentation, I'd like to make a few introductions and go over a few housekeeping items. Please remain on mute during the call. If you have questions, please utilize the chat function to ask questions during the training. All questions will be answered at the end of the training presentation. For your information, we will be recording this training session. Now for the introductions. First, I'd like to introduce you to Sue Bailey. She is the director of Go-To Market Strategy at Viking Range. Nicole Cooper is the showroom manager at Middleby Residential's Irvine Showroom. Jackie Rothbaum is the executive chef and brand ambassador for Middleby Residential's New York showroom. And then we have Jamie Larita, executive chef and brand ambassador for Middleby Residential's Chicago showroom. All right, Margaret, thank you very much for those great introductions. Today, guys, welcome to another great training by Viking Range. I'm going to be talking all about under counter refrigeration and hopefully get to ice machines. So I've as we always do, we start out each one of these with a great recipe. So I myself, I am using this vest today as a corset because I have gained the COVID-15, but I'm gonna teach you guys a great smoothie that'll help you lose that if you're like me. Um, this is something that I make every morning and it's like smoothies are really very much um, one of those things you either like them or you really don't. This one, I promise you, you will love. So this one has frozen bananas, uh, raw honey, some matcha tea powder, turmeric, almond butter, oat milk, flaxseed, and spinach. And this is basically what the green smoothie will look like. But the star of the show today is, of course, the nugget ice. So I use, in our showroom, we have the great nugget ice machine. And this makes such a great smoothie. Um, you don't get all of that broken up chunks of ice when you're drinking that smoothie. It's just really nice and smooth. So enjoy the training, and I'm going to push it over to my friend, Sue Bailey. Thank you, Jamie. And you know, you guys know I'm not much of a green food eater, but that is something I will probably try, Jamie, because it is um, <laughs> definitely something good, especially anything with nugget ice has to be good, correct? Correct. Anything. Good. Well, <laughs> guys, yeah. Yeah, exactly. We're almost there. If you're on Central Time, you're only two hours away. You Eastern guys are only an hour away from cocktail time. Sorry for the Here West Coast coming. fans. You guys got away. Here it is. So guys, I'm excited about doing this under counter um, presentation. I was talking with the team and it, it's funny, you know, it's amazing how much I learn every week, even though I've been selling these products for a long time. Um, having to, to step back and teach you guys things has, has really helped me to learn more about the product and it just re-emphasizes for me exactly how great the products we have really are. Now the undercounter refrigeration guys, you guys that have been with us for a long time know that you know, when we started, we started with ranges, we added ventilation, we added built-in refrigeration, dishwashers, all of that. And then there became the time, you know, more than 20 years ago that we said, you know, we really wanted to have the full kitchen and that included under counter refrigeration. It was a product line that we were not going to make in Greenwood just based on resources that we had, especially at the time we had it. So when we first kind of started, we were with Marvell. Um, they did a lot of the product for us to start with. Um, and then after a period of time, you guys that have been around for a while, remember we went to Perlick. Perlick made our under counter um, for a while. And then Middleby purchased us, which then after that, as you guys know, we purchased a couple of other residential companies, one of them being the Aga Marvell, one of them being Uline. Um, since that time, we have switched our under counter refrigeration over to our sister companies just because it's such a good fit. So we actually have two completely different lines, if you guys are not aware of that. Um, one of them is made to our specifications by Marvell. The other one is by Uline. Um, we're gonna cover both of those. Hopefully, if we have time, we're going to also talk about the ice machines. But one thing I wanted to do before we start talking about the products specifically is I, I wanna talk with Jamie just a little bit about how you bring under counters into the kitchen. What's the purpose of them? How much is a designer, Jamie, are you seeing that an integral part of what we do? 
Yeah, that's a great question, Sue. You know, when we get clients and consumers into our showrooms, they normally will come in, especially if they're doing a first time big kitchen, they'll come in and they'll look at like the classic refrigeration range, you know, uh, dishwasher collection, so on and so forth. But when you introduce them to things like under the counter, like especially refrigeration drawers and ice machines and beverage centers, it opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Like I like it because you can share space. Like you can take things literally out of your refrigerator. Say it's a, uh, if you have a big family and if you have a customer that has a big family, you offer them the idea of a refrigeration drawer where the kids juice boxes, so on mm -hmm. and so forth can live. Um, that opens up their eyes to think, wow, I, mean, I may not need that ginormous refrigeration. I can split it up. And then there's a big trend with even people putting refrigeration under the counter refrigeration in their master closets, um, mm -hmm. water bottles, so on and so forth. And then there's even like cold creams that women and men use for you know mm -hmm. refrigeration in the bedroom and then even in the bathroom so i think that it's to answer your question i think designers are really privy to all this but the general consumer doesn't really understand or know that especially in ice machines even that between clear ice and nugget ice that there's so many options opening up as well as sizes and that they can yeah. integrate them as well yeah and you know of course you guys all know that i'm a huge viking fan and i think that our undercounter line which you guys are going to see is a great line but when you add to it jamie what we've got with uline and marvell there's i mean there's nothing a designer can't find between the three lines is that a true statement yeah, that is a true statement and that's kind of funny because when they come into the showrooms and realize that we own all three companies and let's face it some of them are competitive right but there's something yeah. different about each one and it offers a different look. You know, maybe one of them is a little bit more stainless looking where another one is a little bit more integrated looking. There's something for everybody. And that's the beauty of Middleby Residential guys is that we have these brands and I like to say that it's an umbrella of uh, selection, you know, so that's what's great about what we do. Exactly. Very good. All right. Well, I think we're going to say goodbye to you just for a few minutes, Jamie, and we're going to head on over. I feel like Mr. Rogers. We're going to head on over to Southern California <laughs> with Nicole. Hello, Nicole. So Nicole has got a great run of under counter refrigeration. Um, that's a great shot, guys, that she's got right there um, to look, look at that whole row. What I love about that, guys, is some of these are what I'm going to call the black interior, which are made by Marvell. Some of these are the stainless steel interior, which are made by Uline, but from an exterior um, viewpoint, they all match the Viking kitchen perfectly well. So we've got such a great array of product um, in there. So um, what we're going to do is Nicole and I are going to start with the ones that we've had longer. Um, the, the VRUIs, the VDUIs, the VBUIs, and the VWUIs. You guys, we've had these products for several years now. Um, and so Nicole's going to start with the beverage center, which is the one right next to the drawer, Nicole. There we go. I think it's that one. There we go. So this is the one we're going to start with, guys. And a couple of things on this um, that we're going to see. First of all, I'm going to talk a little bit about the cooling before we get inside of it. So these models, guys, so again, VDUs, VRUs, VBUs, um, these all have the dynamic cooling technology, all right? So it is a great technology. Each of these different lines, the stainless steel line versus this line, they each use their own technology from a cooling standpoint, but they're both excellent technologies and both do bring temperature down and hold temperature extremely well. Um, the refrigerators and the beverage centers here, these are Energy Star, okay? So these models do have Energy Star. They have a thermal efficient cabinet, which um, really optimizes food preservation. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time in a few minutes talking about food preservation and under counters and all of those. That glass door that you see there, it's a tinted UV resistant and it's a dual pane glass door, okay? Maybe not as important for your cans, but when we start talking about a wine cellar, very important that you've got a tinted UV resistant dual pane uh, glass door that's gonna protect all of the wines and all of those things in there. Now, one thing that we're gonna talk about the controls for just a minute, Nicole. So if you wanna move up top to where those controls are, love the controls. So this is a difference too. These um, Black interior ones have the control at the top, okay? What we try to do on all of these is 
make the control accessible, but at the same time out of the way. So this one being on the top of the door is just a great place for it to be. Um, the refrigerator and the beverage center guys can go from 34 to 42 degrees. All right, this is the refrigerator and the refrigerated drawers and beverage centers, okay? Wine cellars we'll talk about in just a minute. So you can see how Nicole is changing those temperatures. You've got a great blue LED, um, very nice, very easy for it to be able to change that. There are a couple of really cool features that um, Nicole and I have played with as um, we start talking about this that we're gonna go to. One thing to know though, there is a control lock. I'm not gonna ask her to lock it. You can see the, the lock button there, which will keep any unintentional changes from happening. So if you've got a lot of kids around, you've got just stuff like that, you can lock that control panel so that the temperature is not inadvertently changed and you come back and everything's frozen or everything's too uh, warm where you don't like it. So that is a great um, feature to have in there. There is, I'm gonna let you shut the door real quick, Nicole, so we can talk about the um, lighting. So what you're gonna see is there is a great theater lighting. Do you see how that just went off? So when Nicole opens the door, you get a very pretty light. It's a nice theater lighting. It's a very bright light. Um, now you do have a couple of display lighting options, which um, Nicole's gonna show us. So if we open that door, um, what you can do is there is the ability to leave the light on for a period of time when the door is shut. So if you've got great wines or pretty bottles or something you want in there, and when you shut the door, you want the light to stay on, all you have to do is you press the light bulb once and it's going to be 100% um, of the lighting. So if you press it the once and you shut the door, it's 100%. If you press it, we'll see what it is. If you press it twice and shut the door, it'll be 50% of the lighting. So it's there. And if you press it a third time, it will go off when you shut the door. The great thing with this display lighting is you're gonna put it on, people are gonna come over, they're gonna see your great wines and everything. You don't have to remember to turn it off because after four hours, the display will automatically turn itself off and it will go back. So you don't have to worry about any of that. There are some audible and visual alarm signals also on that control panel. Um, this happened earlier, Nicole and I were going through some stuff and she had one of the doors open for quite a while and all of a sudden there was this, this alarm that started going off and she's like, what's that? And it's the door open alarm. So if for some reason that door does not get pushed all the way to, which we know how kids can be, um, after five minutes, that door open alarm is going to sound and there is gonna be a, a little, the word that pops up on the control panel that says door, okay? There's also a high temperature alarm. So, you know, let's say that by some weirdness, something were to happen and it wouldn't be maintaining temperature as it needs to, it would alert you that there is a high temperature, that that cabinet is higher. Now that does happen guys, not because there's anything wrong with the unit, but if you've got, let's say it's, you know, a bunch of teenage kids in and out and they're opening and closing and doing all that, it's just gonna let you know that that cabinet is a little less uh, cool than we need for it to be. The other thing I do love about this is this does have a vacation and a Sabbath mode, okay? The vacation and Sabbath mode does conserve energy during the times when that unit's either not in use or, you're just on vacation. It is Star K compliant, so that is great. In order to get there, all you have to do is you hold the on off key. It's gonna go past off and then should go to vacation. She's just gonna hold it, hopefully. And then she continues to hold and voila. Very good, Nicole. It goes to vacation, okay? Notice what happened when she did that. The lights went off. So guys, even though it says vacation, that is also the Sabbath mode. And what that means is the, as you saw, the display's gone, the alarm tones and indicators, touch tones, interior lights, and all of that are just basically become disabled, okay? From that standpoint, nothing changes. You're not causing it to do any work, which is what is required from the Sabbath standpoint. Um, and if you wanna get it off, you can just take it off from that standpoint. So some really, really good features um, on just the controls of these pieces that I think are very, very helpful. Um, if you wanna power it back on, maybe we can get some lights. We'll see, I think we should just hold it. Hopefully it'll come back on. Maybe, there we go, look at there. I love it when things work, perfect. So now let's talk just a little bit about the shelving. 
and things that we have in these, all right? So what you're looking at um, that Nicole has right there is actually the beverage centers. Okay, so there is a 15 inch and there's a 24 inch beverage center, guys, okay? The 15 inch is gonna hold up to five wine bottles, 35 cans. That 24 inch um, can hold up to 19 wine bottles total, um, 108 cans. What I love about this is the convertible shelf that we have in here, okay? That one's a display shelf that Nicole just kind of showed. The convertible shelf right here, notice they pull out very nicely. They just kind of roll out as you want them to. Um, if I want to put cans and things on them, you can see that's what she's done. Otherwise, I'll let you pop that out. If you want to do them for wine, this glass actually will come out. And now notice you've got the um, holders for your wine bottles to fit into. So it's kind of a convertible. You've got a nice, she is such a good band, Nicole. I love that. Do that one more time. So you've got the dampening, um, the vibration dampening right there that's going to help hold your wine bottles in place. So just a great, great mat that you have in there. So the great thing here again, guys, convertible. We're having a lot of people over. We're gonna do a, a 50th birthday party and we wanna have a lot of wine. I can convert my beverage center to being basically something that holds a whole lot of wine bottles. I can do it on the second shelf also like Nicole's showing you right here. Um, guys, I'm having a teenage birthday party. We're not gonna let them have any wine, but yet we need to have a bunch of Coke and Pepsi and the other things. We can put those glass um, shelves in there and we can make them all where we can fit 108 cans in that 24 inch size. So just an absolutely great piece to have in there um, with that. I do love that. So most of these have those convertible shelves. So if you see the mat with the glass, that means you've got one of the convertible shelves. So these are the beverage centers. Guys, we do also have a 24 inch refrigerator, which is very similar. It does have one of those shelves, but it also has a bin that's kind of a crisper bin at the bottom so that you can actually store food in there. We don't actually have a sample of that in the showroom, but it is um, one that we offer in the line. Remember again, there's a 15 and a 24 beverage center. Guys, there's only a 24 all refrigerator like this piece. And then there's the 24 inch drawer, which is right next to it, which we'll go to now. Nicole, if you don't mind. So this is a great piece. Jamie, uh, if you can come back in with me for just a minute. I think you guys um, sell the drawers quite a bit. And this is one of those things you were talking about that a customer will use this as opposed to that full height built in refrigeration, correct? Yeah, you know what's what, what it's great for too as a chef, like I love the way you can install these easily into an island. So if you're talking with someone that's really gonna go there with a, a really great design kitchen, it's a great place to put your vegetables if you're really into like the farmer's market and fresh mm -hmm. and separating your meat, dairy. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Sue. As far as like myself, I would love to have one of those where I'm prepping so I can pull out you know, all the things yeah. I'm gonna use that day rather than going to a full size refrigerator and opening and closing it all the time. Right, exactly. And, I, and you're right. And for those, those clients, especially that want to keep food very separate for whatever reason, I think that's a great way to do um, some things. I have a, a client that I've been working with too, that they've decided to use only under counter refrigeration um, in their, their second house that they're doing. So I think it's a great idea. Um, Nicole, if you'll open that drawer one more time, you guys will notice that's a full stainless steel interior. Um, it is just absolutely beautiful. Um, does a great job. Notice you can keep a, a ton of cans in there. I think that one actually holds up to like 130 cans, um, which is great to, to have that in there. So I do love the drawer. That drawer is only available in a 24 inch um, wide model. You do have the bottom drawer also that will hold things, which is great. Guys, these do have a um, height adjustment of up to one inch on the leveling legs that are down below. So depending on what the countertop height is, you can adjust these by up to one inch um, from that standpoint. Um, I think that we have not yet talked about the um, wine cellar. So I'm gonna get you to walk down to the wine cellar for me um, at the other end, I think, Nicole, the 24 inch wine. I think it's all the way at the end, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, yep. So in this line, there are also 24 inch and 15 inch wine cellars that you can see here. Um, the 24 inch will hold up to 40 bottles of wine. You'll notice that this does not have any of the glass. This truly has 
the um the wire racks which is great for the wine this one guys the 24 inch is a dual zone wine cellar all right so the upper zone has got three eight bottle wire racks the lower zone has got an eight bottle and then two four bottle half depth racks um, that you can hold in there so the dual zone temperatures um, you can do 45 to 55 degrees for the lower zone and then 55 to 62 for the other zone so you do have two different dual zones that you can do there the 15 inch wine cellar um, is a single zone and it will actually hold 24 bottles of wine so nice nice going on that all right, so that's kind of our lineup of the, what I'm gonna call the beautiful black interior pieces. Um, what we're gonna talk about now, actually, Jamie, I'm gonna to go to you for just a minute, if you will. Um, I bet if I asked people to raise their hands, we'd have several wine drinkers um, here with us. How important is the wine cellar, Jamie? And, and tell me what your favorite wine to pair with your favorite food is. Oh boy, well, so I'm a, you know, I'm a diehard, uh, Cabernet. I love a, a really good uh, red wine. So mm -hmm. um, I think it's important for, you know, and again, it's, it's the wine enthusiast that really wants that perfect temperature. So if I'm going to make like, for example, um, a really beautiful filet mignon, right? I'm going to have a really rich, uh, I love Spanish wines. I love French mm -hmm. wines. I love all kinds of wine, but I love the fact that you can keep your, um, the dual zone there is really important when you're having an event and you have a bunch of uh, wine drinkers over that know the difference of temperature. Yeah. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Like some people yeah. are so snobby that they, they understand and they, they really appreciate the fact that, you know, you can hold it at the perfect temperature. So I hope that yeah. answered your question for you. That does. That's a great job with that. So, mm -hmm. and you know, wine cellars, we sell a lot of wine cellars, as you guys know, um, because there are a lot of wine enthusiasts. That's a great way to show on that piece how you've got the separation of the two compartments. So it is a wonderful, wonderful piece. So guys, we, we were doing really well with these um, under counter units, no complaints. I think that they are a wonderful piece. And then Uline came out with the stainless steel interior. And that really hits well with our customers. Um, of course, we are so about stainless steel. Nicole's gonna open this one up for us. Um, this is the stainless steel version. It is an all stainless steel interior, as you can see. Guys, it does have a little more of a commercial look, and that was our whole thought process behind this, okay? It doesn't necessarily compete with the line that we just looked at. It is an addition to. This is for that person who really, you know, they love the 7 Series um, range and the 7 Series refrigerator, and they're just looking for something that's a little more commercial. You can notice that the um, way that the bins and the shelves and everything are in there, Guys, there's 19 different adjustabilities to that. So you can really move these however you want to move them. I'm not going to ask Nicole to move them because that is one of those things I do not want to do in front of you guys. But they're not hard to do at all. But it has a lot of adjustability so the customer can actually do it the way they want to. As I said, it's a stainless steel interior. It's a stainless steel cabinet, toe kick, accent every bit of it guys we just made it as commercial looking as we could yet still making it feel very residential one thing i didn't say about the previous ones that we just talked about a few minutes ago with the black interior guys those you do order as a left hinge or a right hinge these all of the stainless steel interiors all ship as a right hinge they are filled convertible to a left hinge okay so you don't have to order them differently they all ship the same way which is which is great to have there um so this piece i absolutely love you will notice it's got a great hinge very integrated hinge um, if you look all the way down you'll notice that this one we have the control at the bottom okay one thing we do know about these under counter controls you're not going to be messing with them every day okay so this one is at the at the bottom kind of out of the way um so it, but it is still very easy to access as you can see from there. There are a couple of good things. I'm running out of time. Who is surprised with that? There are a couple of great things on this one that um, I really wanna show. One is that this one, you can leave the interior light on just like you can the other one. This one, guys, remember, 
The other line is four hours for a display. This one will stay on for up to 12 hours as a display, okay? It can always be taken off before then, but if you don't deactivate it, it will um, come back to being off after 12 hours. You can hide the display if you want to. Um, that's not what I'm gonna ask her to do. What I want you to see though, what's really cool about this one is you can adjust the lighting color. Okay, so this one can have either white or blue. So we've got it white right now. And so Nicole, Nicole's gonna hold the down and then press and release the light bulb button and it should change it to blue, hopefully. Yep. There, okay, so zero and then press and release. She's getting it. There we go. And then it goes to blue. Good job, Nicole. And you can have blue light, okay? Now here's what's crazy. So if you want, when the doors open and the doors close, you want them to be white. That's the zero, zero that you saw. Nicole just put it into the zero, one, which is means when the doors open, it's blue. When the doors closed, it's blue light. For you crazy people, if you wanted it to be a white light when the doors open and a blue light when the doors close, you would just take it to the next step of the O2. So just one of those great fun things um, that you can do white or blue. You don't have to pick. You can have it either way you want it, which I think is great. This one does have a Sabbath mode also. Um, in order to get into the Sabbath mode, I do know you're in showroom mode. So let's see if this works, Nicole. You're going to press the light bulb and hold it for five seconds and release and then that's going to put us into sabbath mode it's the longest five seconds whenever we do this. okay and notice this one the display goes completely away okay so nothing on it, it it will still cool it will still do everything you need for it to do in order to disable the sabbath mode you just have to press and hold the light uh, bulb feature again and then it should come back on hopefully soon there you go. Notice that Nicole's Fahrenheit is flashing. What that means is she put it in showroom mode earlier. You can put it in showroom mode. So you have the ability to show all of these great features, but you're not going to have to worry about it cooling. So that means it is actually in showroom mode. So in this line, guys, we have the 15 and 24 inch refrigerator. Um, remember, we don't have a 15 inch refrigerator in the other line. This one has a 15 and a 24 inch refrigerator. We have a 15 and a 24 inch beverage center. I think you do have the 24 inch, that's where we just were, 24 inch beverage center. And then we have a 15 and a 24 inch wine cellar. I can see we're about out of time. We're gonna look at these two together, yes. Yeah. So that's a great, see, that's a great 15 inch, small, all refrigerator. Notice you've got a lot of bins. So you can either put produce in there, you could put cans in there, you could put whatever you wanted to in there. Again, lots of adjustability, very bright light. Um, we could make that blue if we wanted to. It's just such a pretty, pretty piece that we have there. To the right of what Nicole has of that, that's the black interior. So guys, this is a perfect example of the two different lines that we have. Again, just a different customer. What I love is that we don't have to have the customer choose. Um, if they want the black interior and they like the features of this one with the convertible shelf, they can do that. If they like the stainless interior and the more commercial look, they can do that. We're able to um, take care of all of those. So we've got a great line of both of these products that we can sell. Um, we are just about out of time. Uh, I'll tell you what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna save ice machines for another day. We'll just make Jamie do another recipe that has ice machines. Um, so Nicole, why don't you give us one more shot of that full lineup that you've got of all these products so everybody can once again see how wonderful they are. Um, one other thing I do, I do wanna mention on the stainless steel interior, guys, that is a variable speed compressor that we are using on that piece that really d delivers maximum efficiency. So great, great lineup. Um, all of these are in the cost book. Um, in case you need any help with that, but I'm about out of time, Margaret. Well, thank you so much, Sue, and thank you everyone for attending today's virtual training. Please make sure to catch Chef Jamie and Chef Jackie on Viking's Facebook live feed for some amazing cooking videos. Please also make sure to tune in for our next Viking virtual training on Thursday, August 27th at 3 p.m. Central Time on the Viking Steam Ovens. 
Look for a follow-up email with assets from today's training as well as Jamie's smoothie recipe. A reminder that we are hosting virtual showroom appointments out of our Chicago and Irvine showrooms. Please visit our websites or talk to your Middleby Residential District Sales Manager for more information. This concludes our training today. We will remain on the call to answer any questions that you may have asked in the chat. Hey, and I see that. See hey, questions. my buddy. Yeah, my buddy Jack Ryan asked which hinges are integrated, and um, so that um, the piece that has the stainless steel interior is I won't call it more integrated. They all have stainless um, uh, doors on them. So, and but they both fit really flush, Jack. So, but I would say if I if I've got to call one more integrated than the other one, it would be the stainless steel interior. Al makes a note that the uh, 19 position adjustable shelves is, is a great feature, and they they really are. And um, then Rick, I, I think you're right. The Uline um, Sabbath mode is probably more what the customer is thinking, but as long as it doesn't change when the customer opens or does anything, it's, it's considered Star K compliant from that standpoint. Any other questions, guys? Oh, Jamie, did, did you drink your, um, your thing? Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been drinking this the whole time during the whole, <laughs> I don't know if anybody was was watching me. Listen, I'm not kidding, guys. It tastes really, really good. I know that the matcha tea might scare you a little bit, but it gives you a boost of energy. Drink it in the morning. It's going to sustain you all day, even to to dinner time. It's a great smoothie. Look, see, Sue. Nice. I'm on my second one. Good. I'm on my second one. Okay. <laughs> well, good. Well, thanks, everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe. <laughs>